Welcome back to the channel folks. My name's Justin. I wanted to talk about a Berkey today. A special Berkey filter that we're going to make for $90, which is a third of the price of what this one is going for. Half of the price of what this one is going for. And it's really kind of a combination of both that we're going to make today. And I'll tell you why. This is a big Berkey. This is a 2.25 gallon clean water in the bottom reservoir here, water purifier. This is the Go Berkey, which is one quart clean water uh, compartment at the bottom here. The cool thing about Berkey's, I did a video, my first video ever, I'll plug it here, um, that I uploaded to YouTube was on water purification. And I covered these Berkey's and why they are king of the hill when it comes to water purification, in my opinion. So it has nothing to do with the stainless steel, beautiful container itself, but the filter, the black Berkey filter, which purifies all of the bad stuff and actually leaves most of the good. So we're gonna kind of make a Berkey baby today, right? I'm gonna take the best of this guy and the best of this one. I'm gonna take the capacity out of the big Berkey, which is a little under what this guy is offering. So two gallons of water, 2.25 gallons here and the bomb proofness, if that is a word, of this one, which is less failure points, less things to break, like the spigot here, this plastic spigot. If I was using this for a disaster scenario, uh, you know, an event that was to happen, I'm giving this to a family member, so if they ever need it, God forbid, they have a way to make clean water, to get the viruses, the protozoa, the bacteria, all the nasties out sediment, out of the water in an emergency situation. They can't turn on the tap, the well isn't working because the pump doesn't have electricity or power. So that's what this is meant to do. I want this to be as bomb proof and break proof as possible. So all I want are the buckets and the filter itself. That's it. I don't want to deal with spigots. I don't want to deal with any other fancy things. And in response to some of the comments that I was getting on my first video, Berkey's are expensive. They're expensive, they've got a big upfront cost. This is $317, this is a little over $200. So you're paying for the filters and obviously just the awesomeness of the container itself. So let's jump into building this. Don't have a name for it yet, but it's the Berkey baby for now. Let's jump in. Some of these are optional pieces. Majority of them we need. I've got a drill with a 3 8 bit I hope that's going to do it. That should be big enough. If not, I'll go to a half. I've got the black Berkey filter here. This is the magic maker. This is what the whole thing is about. Two lids, two two-gallon buckets nesting into each other very nicely in a way that actually the top one seals the bottom one. So if I had this in storage or something with the filter inside, that's the plan. I'd be able to store this away no problem and have this bottom bucket, you know, keep relatively clean here. So I want this to nest and it still should after we're done here. And then we've got a spigot, just a cheap plastic spigot off of Amazon, cost me two bucks um, and a pack of four. So, you know, it's like eight bucks total, $7.99 or whatever. And so I'm gonna go right down the middle of the lid. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need to make this bigger. Go through the bucket. Simple as that. Except I need to go a size bigger. All right, half inch bit. Let's do this again. Very, very nice. Yep, so this is going to work out nicely, I think. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put this with the gasket right here into the top bucket. Oh, I gotta clean this off with a razor blade. Be very careful, please. All right, you don't want chunks of your plastic falling in, so make sure you do a nice clean job of it. Take your filter. We're going to install it. 
flip it upside down, hold the filter, put this little, this little uh, nut on, tighten that bad boy down, not to the point where you're gonna break the threads or snap the plastic off, and that filter's not going anywhere. This is just gonna fit perfect. And when this top, this is your dirty reservoir up here, your clean reservoir is under here, under this lid. You're gonna be able to dump dirty water up in here and it's just going to drain down into here and you're gonna have the smallest hole, that's, that's perfect. So once this goes on, there's not a lot of wobbling here at all. This thing is, I mean, it was like, it's almost made for this. We're ready to test. I mean, it's really as simple as that. You'd be able to put this lid on after you dump the dirty water in. If you don't want bigger contaminants, dust, whatever, getting in there, it's going to be filtered even if it does. But extend the life of this filter, you put this lid on. You don't have to make this airtight. And you have your clean water here. And you'd basically pour the clean water into whatever device, reservoir, Nalgene bottle, whatever you have. Let's put some water in it. This is going to have a flow rate of half a gallon per hour because it's one filter. I could do two filters, probably three. I don't know about four, but listen, listen to the dripping. You're going to be able to hear this thing cleaning right now. I did do the cleaning process on this filter beforehand, so it should have the highest flow rate possible. It's a newer filter too. I'm gonna lift this bucket up so you can see. It is dripping into the bucket here, just like we want it to. So that's 16 pounds-ish, a little less because of the filter displacing water on the top here. And that is not enough weight to push this lid down entirely. So you're not going to be getting critters and bugs in here if you don't snap this lid down. You could snap this down if you were worried about it falling over. And this would, I mean, leak a minimal amount of water if this thing was to tumble over and you had clean water that you spent hours to filter. Just, you need to realize, right, that this is half a gallon of water per hour. So these two gallons will take four hours to actually filter through entirely into the bottom reservoir. Adding more filters will double or triple the flow rate. I mean, shoot, let's put a spigot on it, guys. Not that we would in an emergency situation. I would want it just like this. No breaking parts. I'm going to make a hole above the, uh, probably half an inch above the bottom of this bucket here because I do not want to pierce the bucket. You don't want this to be too low to hit the bucket. You don't want it to be too high that you're gonna have a ton of clean water not hitting the spigot and it's just sitting at the bottom of your Berkey forever. Not gonna be big enough. I'm gonna see if I can work some magic. All right, now you're gonna want a bigger bit. This is a half inch bit. You're gonna want something a little bigger to make the perfect hole, but this got the job done. Clean the inside and the outside of the burrs. Assemble your spigot. Put your nut on. You should just have to hand tighten this. And because you're getting your hands in the dirty part of this, we had to clean it out anyway. Anytime you touch the inside of this, it's now contaminated. Even if there was dirty water that went into the bottom, you know, are you gonna clean it if a few drops went in? I don't know, probably not, but in an emergency situation, you get sick, you, uh, you've got some problems. So tighten this down, hand tight. Should be enough. You just don't want the weight, any weight, resting on the spigot. You're going to have problems. So let's put this whole thing together. Part with the hole in it. 
don't even need to snap it down. I totally could if I wanted to. Just be careful putting that on. That's the only thing. So you don't hurt the bottom of the filter. Dump water in. You can hear the filter start to pick up speed. Once a layer of water is on the bottom, you're not going to hear the drip drip on the plastic. It's not going to be as noticeable, but it can be much more quiet as the filter starts to do its thing. So we already had some water at the bottom here. I'm not getting any leaking out of the spigot. Voila. I would not recommend putting this on if you wanted it to be as bomb proof as possible. So I'm honestly, Oh, I just put it on the filter. I just put it on the filter. You gotta be careful not to do that. Do as I say, not as I do, right? I'm probably gonna get two more buckets, do exactly what I just did in the literally 30 seconds it took to make this entire setup without the, without the spigot. The spigot took another 30 seconds to a minute, right? Not a big deal. I'm just gonna get the two buckets without the spigot with the setup that we originally did just and, and give that to family because I want it to be again as bomb proof and as break proof as possible. So the construction of this bucket actually ended up being perfect to make this Berkey still be nestable here. I'm sorry, the baby Berkey. I'm calling it something else. It's not a Berkey. The only thing you have to worry about is when you're nesting it is you have an extra lid. How about that? All right, folks, as you see, it doesn't take much to make one of these. You can do this with the five gallon buckets. There's a couple videos on YouTube, a few years old, that show how to do similar things with the five gallon bucket. You can put more than one filter in this thing, right? You can put two, three, maybe, maybe even four filters of those black Berkey filters inside this guy here. It's kind of big inside. The five gallons, you can definitely get four. Just make sure the filters are equally distant from each other in the top compartment there, just like you can see in the clip I'm showing now. So if you're one of those folks like me that was on the fence about getting a Berkey because of that upfront cost, I'm gonna plug a video from another channel that helped push me over the edge and explain just how this thing pays itself off. Over time, he did the math for me, uh, it pays itself off. You're not getting nickeled and dimed Every three months, every six months, buy a Brita filter, for example. Not dinging Brita. I, I used to have one for years. But the cost of it, you're getting nickel and dime from a lot of these filters and a lot of these companies. It's an upfront cost. The filters last a very long time, depending on how you use them, just like any other filter. I'll plug that video, and it might help you make a decision. So another thing to remember here is the type of water that you're putting through this thing is obviously going to affect the lifespan of the filter itself. This should hold up to a lot, this bucket here. We minimize the failure points or the points that could break, like the spigot, for example, but the filter itself is still susceptible to getting clogged over time. It's always best to pre-filter out using some kind of a cloth, a bandana, anything that can get more junk the better out of the water before you put it in the Berkey. So if you had another bucket or you put something over the Berkey at a bare minimum, and you were able to pour the water in and get the pond scum and a lot of the sediment out before it actually hits the filter, your filter is going to last a lot longer that way. For these black Berkey filters, you can, over time, if you're starting to see the flow rate go down, take a sponge and basically rub and clean off the outside of the filter, but there's no way to clean the inside of the filter outside of backwashing, which is part of the cleaning. When you get a Berkey a filter, you can look at how to clean those and that helps to push some of that junk out of the filter, but over time it's going to clog. They say once the flow rate really slows down, even after you clean the filter, it's coming to the end of life of that filter, so you'll probably want to replace it. I'm gonna use these things until the flow rate goes down to something that I'm not comfortable with anymore, I'm not willing to wait. You can always add more filters, you can always modify it, you can always put a spigot on it for your use, this is just something I'm going to give for the emergency preparedness purposes to a family member. So that's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. If you want to see more videos like this, comment, like, and subscribe. I'll catch you later.